16 divided by the 12. So I have 29 plus the 6 divided by 12. Okay? This idea shows up again. I'm going to divide these out. I'm going to take 6x squared plus 0x plus 3, and I'm going to divide that by x plus 1. Okay? Notice I threw in a 0 there to hold the missing term. You're going to want to do that if you ever have to do this by hand. So, what do I do? You ask yourself, self, what do I multiply x by to turn it into 6x squared? Ignore the 1. Just look at the x. What do I multiply x by to turn it into 6x squared? 6x. 6x. Now multiply. You get 6x squared plus 6x. Now, subtract. But we don't call it subtraction. We call it change the signs and add. When I used to teach this all the time, students would subtract and they would forget to subtract this number. Except when I told them to change the signs and add them up, they no longer had screwed that part up yet. Okay? So that's the only reason I make you do it that way. So, then what? So that adds up to zero. That is negative 6x plus 3. So now I go, okay, what do I have to multiply x by to turn it into negative 6x? Ignore the 3. Negative 6. So minus 6. So I get negative 6x minus 6. Now what? Change the signs and add. And you get 9. So plus 9 over x plus 1. So what is the equation of that slant asymptote? 6x minus 6. Just ignore the remainder. So now if I come back over here and I graph the line y equals 6x minus 6. So that remainder is irre irrelevant? To for the asymptote, yeah. And there it is. And so the end behavior of this function looks like 6x minus 6. So as x approaches infinity, that function, the 6x squared plus 3 over x plus 1, approaches 6x minus 6. And you can see it in the table if you go out to the table here and just look at the two values. If I let x, oh, by the way, there's that error. Why is that an error right there? 